Yeah, yeah we out here, man. Great Rizzy, we out here on Shade 45. It's another Grind Setters. And look, I want to take you out to Brooklyn. Now, everybody claims they're from Brooklyn and stuff. You know, there's like millions of listeners here on Shade 45. I guarantee you there's somebody in Wisconsin right now like, yo, bop, bop, bop. Yeah, all right, chill. Chill out. <laughs> Relax. We got one in the building, man. He's been moving. He's been making a lot of music, and he's doing his thing. It's the reason why he's up here with us right now. Giuseppe, what's going on? Giuseppe Flossy in the building. Giuseppe Flossy. Giuseppe Flossy, man. Do it, does anybody ever say, you know, Giuseppe to you? Or anything uh, like that? Pe people that know me. Yeah? Yeah. So, what, what was it that got the name for you? Like, obviously fashion. I, I'm, I'm assuming fashion, but is uh, it real? No, no real name, no gimmicks? That's my real name. That's your real name? Yeah, my mom named me that. Get the heck out of here, man. You already came out swagged up, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, what, that's fire, man. So how did you talk to us? How did you get into this whole music thing? I, my love for music always been there. You understand? I grew up in a household, Caribbean household. Jamaican and Trinidadian, you know what I'm saying? So, best of both worlds. Yeah. So, it will be Caribbean music playing in my household. There will be R&B music playing in my household. There will be hip hop music playing in my household. So it was like, from a youngin, I always had a love for music. But what inspired me to do music, or who inspired me to do music, is my brother, my older brother. Was he an artist himself? Production? He was. He was just in the crib. Promoter. He wasn't, he was in the crib doing his thing. Like, I just seen him doing that. Like, I seen him writing with his homies and, and I seen him like, whoa. I, well, I, I, like, ever since a little kid, I always wanted to do everything like him uh, yeah. already. So, mm -hmm. that already is just like, it, 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 I took an interest to it and, you know, I liked it. I liked is, it. is it safe to say that he was like the, the sound selector in the household? Like, he was the one providing the vibes? Not really. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say that, but I did. I did get a lot of things. Like I used to take his CDs and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and, and and listen to whatever he listening to and shit like that. So, and um, I would say the big. It's my sisters. Mm. My sisters. Mm -hmm. They will play a lot of different R and B. My mother. She will play a lot of different R and B. Mary J. Blige. Stuff like that. I started really, like I said, for me to really start getting into like rap music and stuff, I had to steal people's CDs. Like I had to go to my uncle's house. I had to go steal his DMX CD. Like what the fuck is this? Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Like, mm -hmm. What's this? Like you know what I'm saying? But I'm a little kid. I don't really know what's going on, but I know it's like, I like it. You know what I'm saying? Tupac, Biggie. These are the people like Sean. I had a Sean CD. Mm. If you want to go left, um, Donnell Jones. I had yo, that was a Jones big CD. yo, son. That was a big album, though. Yeah. Where I want to be, yeah. I know exactly definitely, what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah. That was a huge album right yeah. there, son. There was there wasn't many places we could go in New York City when that album was out, and you not hear yeah. him in some way, shape, or form, bro. Yeah, yeah. That was that was really really big. So R and B played a big part, and I think we hear a lot of that in your music. Some yeah. harmonization, making sure that technical. you relate. He he was my early my early um vocal coach without knowing. Like, I was just throwing the CD because I didn't know I had what I had. Like, you understand? Like, I would just throw on the shit and go ride my bike. And I was like, and I'm listening to it. And I'm trying to do what he doing. Like, mm -hmm. you understand? But it started making me get to a point where it's like, oh, I got some type of a lot of in me. Like, I know I got something. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Like, You know what I, I, I find? Like, um, I grew up uptown. I grew up in the Bronx. You know, I was down here in Harlem a whole lot. You were in Brooklyn. And I never really, I used to always discount the fact when my friend, my friends and family from Brooklyn would say, yo, we don't got to leave the borough. We could stay in Brooklyn. I used to be like, yo, what are you talking about? You got to come to the city or you got to go here yeah. until I started hanging out in Brooklyn. Yeah. Like, it's like my first year of college. Y'all really do not got to leave the borough of Brooklyn. There's so much going on over there. What was it? like growing up in Brooklyn for you though you, you did you grow up in Canarsie yeah. in that area yeah, what did. was that like for you it was it was fun honestly it was fun growing up as a little kid I would say until I got to a certain age and I had to when I, when I started realizing what life is you understand what I'm saying but mm -hmm. before the, all the worries it was actually like I can't wait to go outside and go chill with my homies or I can't I can't wait to go to the park and you understand and play ball with them and you know like we used to just it was always something to do like you said always something to do you go outside we always we always link up with each other we always you understand like it was always something to do so 
Um, I'm not gonna say until the later days, my my later days, my later teens is like when I really started feeling super struggle. You understand what I'm saying? Like you see how people come out and say, "I right, yo, I've been struggling," and no, my mom was a hustler. Like she made sure we was good. Mm -hmm. You understand? Certain circumstances happened, and it was like, "All right, now I gotta fend for myself." Got you me. understand? So I've been on my own since I was 15. 15 and yeah. I'm sure a lot of that we're hearing in your music as well yeah. you know you're putting that personal into it yeah. look you got this song and I actually was joking with g Sep outside because you put some pressure I was looking you know obviously I'm listening to the music I'm looking at the videos and stuff and my wife was walking by you you're gonna want to hear this man I, my wife was walking by and he has this dope ass video for forever and ever right yeah. And she's like, yo, what are you looking for, vacation spots? And I'm like, this motherfucker, I, I didn't even have a chance to talk to him yet. You don't put the pressure in my household. But it is a, it's a fire-ass video. And I think one of the things that you do really good is that you have people relate to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then when you have the women relate before the guys, you you know, you, if a woman relate, the yeah. guys, they're going to follow, they right? Definitely follow. So look, man, let's go ahead and get it to this song real quick. It's forever and ever. It's G-Sep up here on Grind Setters. It's Great Rizzy hanging out with you on Shade 45. Salute. Great Rizzy, we out here right now. G-Sep's in the building. It's the Grind Setters up here on Shade 45. And um, you were joking. We're all joking in the studio right now about not only how fire the song is, because like I said, people can relate to it, but the video yeah. is fire. First of all, where did you do the video? Because I swore it was on an island. Everybody thought it was on an island. It was, it was, it was in Malibu, but the funny okay. thing about it was um, a girl I was talking to at the time hit me up, like, have fun. That's some bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but listen, I'm like, what are you talking you about? She hit right? you with the why what do you call that? The passive aggressive? Yeah. I'm like, wait, what are you talking about? Like, have fun what? She's like, go ahead, have fun. You, you I see you overseas. So I'm like, overseas. And I had to think about it because at first I didn't realize I I, I post I I kind of forgot that I posted the clip. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So the clip is just me. It was actually just a picture, like on my story of me like holding my phone up. And Shorty the, in the girl background. in the background, yeah. yeah. So I'm like, I thought about it. I thought, this is going to be funny right here. You understand? So I, I left it alone mm -hmm. because I kind of like people to... Assume. Yes. To, you know, and, and think what you go going to think. Yeah. So basically, um, probably like a week went past. A week went past. Other people was asking me too, like, yo, where you was at? You was overseas? Huh? I'm just all laughing, right? Mm -hmm. I'm like, in Malibu, but I'm like, I guess I did a great job if they think I'm overseas. So I'm like, all right, um, basically, um, um, shout out yeah, to the like, director and whoever the videographer was. That that <laughs> shit was, yeah, you did your thing on that. That I I come up with all my visions though. Okay. Yeah. So I'm a creative director. That's good. Yeah. So, That's another check. Yeah. They can't, they can't, you know, whoever the label, when you, if you decide to get signed, let me say that, if you yeah. decide to do that, that's another check right there nah, that's a fact. for your talent. But I can see women, you know, be like just the passive aggressive, like, oh, yeah, have fun. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, bro. I watched the whole video too. Yeah. I don't know if she did, but nah, I can but see listen. her being that, being <laughs> tight, bro. I can see her being tight. Nah, right, look. Let me show you. That shit look mighty comfortable, God. I was like, I was looking like, yo, who is Shorty? This right, might really be his they, lady. She, she understand this is, you know, it's it's, it's, it's all a part of the game. Yeah, it's yeah, entertainment. No you doubt. Know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Listen. So basically, a week after that, uh, I dropped a little clip of the video because first it was just a picture. So I dropped a little clip of the video. Now she felt dumb. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Was it? But here's here's the key. Now here's yeah. the key. Was there an apology though? Oh no, you know, absolutely not. You know, they're listen, not gonna apologize, they're not, bro. Like I'm not gonna speak for every female, but the majority that I know, they they have a hard time apologizing when they wrong. You understand? Know she was like, nah, you know, uh, my bad. No, no, my bad. No, I'm sorry. No, none of that. They yeah. just move on to whatever the next thing is. Yeah, like that should never it. happen. Like it never happened. Like it erased in the rearview mirror. That <laughs> should never happen. We gonna go on with our day, man. <laughs> Look, what's your what's your goal for 2022? Because I've been, and I'll tell you, I've been very consistent in this message. Summer of 2022, going into the new, you know, the rest of the year, going into 2023, this is probably going to be one of the most pivotal times in music mm -hmm. because, A, you have a lot of artists who haven't been able to connect personally yeah. with their uh, fan base. You have a lot of fans who haven't had the chance to see artists live, sometimes in a new venue, sometimes in their favorite venue. Yeah. So I guess, like, goal-wise, you know, when it comes to the music, what are some of your goals? 
my goal is really to really get myself out there like like really get myself out there because i have i feel like i have a lot to 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 offer the people you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying cuz i'm very versatile so i really just like i i want to i want to take it to the top like however i could take it to the top whatever i have to do whatever you know what i'm saying how how hard I, like if i got to go super hard that's what i'm going to do like i can't i look at it right now like for me going through certain things in my life i have to do this right now like i have no choice it has to happen you have a story to tell yeah copy yeah so it, it has to happen like you understand because it's like it's this or the streets you understand mhm i could be in the streets i could i could do the streets but for how long you understand what i'm saying how long before that person hate on you or that per this 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 these 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 the feds start watch you or this start happening or you understand like how long before your 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 so called best friend try to open that back door how long you understand what I'm trying to show you so it's like you really got to position yourself and I really and that's how I had to look at it because I have a daughter you understand and it's like I adore her you understand that's my that's my baby right there and I know that I can't just crash out. It's, it can't happen. I know that she needs me. You understand? Right. There's a lot of females out here that don't have their father around. You understand? I don't know if by choice or not by choice, but me, my choice is to stay in my daughter's life and be her best friend. And she be my best friend. You understand? So she don't have to ever have to hide anything from me. You understand? And I won't, I won't overly oversaturate her with, you understand, with like being strict and stuff like that. I won't do that because that's how you're going to fuck up. That's mm. how I feel. Mm. You understand? I love the commitment to the family part yeah. too, man. Because I think sometimes that messaging gets lost in people trying to be the man or the woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with, you know, being a A-alike or, you know, just having one of those alpha type yeah. of egos. But yeah. when it comes to my kids, yeah. it's even bigger than that. Yeah. You feel what I'm Definitely. saying? Look, let's get back into some music. g he ain't going nowhere. We go to hang out on Shade 45. We coming right back. Grind setters. <laughs> G Seps up here. Great Rizzy, we out here on a grind set is on Shade 45. I definitely want you to tap in and let them know that you're listening because this guy, while he is born and bred in Brooklyn, you're out there on the West Coast in L.A. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who know you from everywhere in between. So I want to make sure that they tap in on IG, G Sep, that's G. S E P P underscore Flossy F L O S S Y right yeah and then on Twitter it's just G S E P Flossy straight across hit them up let them know that you're listening right now of course you can hit us at Shade Forty Five at Gray Rizzy look when it comes to this next song I want you to explain it the title because there's some people who may know what Breach means I just asked you I'm not gonna I was gonna act like I knew I don't know what the <laughs> fuck that was but now I do so I'm gonna act like I know yo you don't know what Breach is what the mm-hmm. fuck you been at you know what I'm saying but what's that what's that title about and what's the song about the Breach that's the money that's the bread that's the cash that's the it's the bag yeah yeah and we talking about getting to the money on this song of course this is an upbeat. This is a little bit more upbeat than some of the songs that you have. This would you consider it like a a party joint, an anthem joint? Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a a little banger. I feel that. Yeah, I, I definitely feel that. Um, I feel like it's somewhere you could do um, something that you could basically listen to in multiple places. Like you could, you could be working out the gym, you could be cleaning up your house, mm-hmm. and then you could be driving in the car, you could be at the club. Like, I feel like it has that balance for everything. It got that motivation point like to that. it, too. I feel like, yo, I, I ain't gonna lie. Once you said workout, I was like, yeah, yeah. this is it. Because when people work out, they want to be in a certain vibe. Yeah. And plus, I want to work out, get money in the gym, and get money outside of the exactly. gym. So this is the perfect setup exactly. right here, bro. Yeah. What's, uh, are we going to be doing any shows, you know, this year? Like, how's that um, looking? I mean, I'm definitely up to it. Nothing in the schedule so far. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm definitely up to it right now. I'm still just working. To get my name out there, you know. Is it is it your situation right now? Is independent. Yeah. Like, are you the artist, the CEO? Are you like, are you looking to sign artists? Are you looking to build a label? Um, I basically got a little situation going on already. It's just, it's not in. Everything is not intact okay. fully. I'll say. Okay, but you it's in the but, works. Yeah, we got. I mean, I we got we got something. I don't want to speak too much on it, but it's it's gonna y'all, y'all gonna see. But it's like. We, we have some, some things going on. The reason why I'm asking, man, is because with certain artists, they either got it or they don't. Yeah. You have some artists who may not be as good 
creatively, but their business mind is there. You have some artists, vice versa. With you, I see that good mix. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm asking, like, yo, do you want to sign artists? Do you want to do this? Do you want to do that? But also with the people who are in that, like, beginning stage, like, you've probably worked all your life to get to this point. Yeah. And then if you blow in the next two months, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. But, it, you know, I also wouldn't be surprised that you're super ready to go for the next 10, 15 years or however long you wanted to go. Yeah. You know, um, I want to make sure that everybody stays tapped in with you. So, you know, is there any websites or anything like that? I want to make sure we're promoting everything. Merch. I don't care. Yo, I, we, we got like fucking combs on sale. I don't care. Like, I want to promote everything. I got merch on the way. We got a, a bunch of things on the way. So it's like as far as um, websites, it's really just the socials right now. And Copy. Things like that. Give it to him one more time. Twitter, Instagram. You on TikTok by any chance? No, I'm not on TikTok. All right. Get on TikTok. I just got on TikTok. I'm fucking surprised that the world. I'm okay. All right. I got you. I heard y'all. I'm late. I'm late. I understand already. (laughs) They be killing me in my DMs. Like, why aren't you on TikTok? But I would say, yeah, get on TikTok. But let's start with this Instagram and Twitter. How can they stay in touch with you on there? That's G S E P P That's G S E P P underscore Flossie at G. Wow. My bad. You was about I'm to give on the G- Yeah, yes, son. My bad. Yo, if you got some beats, <laughs> send that. Well, yeah, yeah, facts. If you got some beats, send that. You can send that to what? But um, it's GSEP underscore Floor C. So G S E P P underscore F L O S S Y. That's my Instagram. And Twitter is G S E P P underscore. Make sure you go ahead and get in tapped in with him real quick, man. While you following people, shit, follow us because I need some of his followers too. I need some <laughs> of everybody followers. I'm at Gray Rizzy, G R A Y R I Z Z Y. Definitely follow the channel at Shade45. And look out for this guy because I think there's a lot of great things coming down your path, bro. Yeah. And I think you're, you're ready for it too. I'm definitely ready. And you got any travel agency tips with all them fucking the Forever and Ever videos? <laughs> I, I'm telling you, people, if you put up a link, motherfuckers will be like, Tap. so get off my, my wife off my back. All right. Yo, bro, I appreciate you stopping through, man. All right, thank you, man. Look, thank if you for you, having me. Anytime, brother, anytime. Yeah. And like I said, if I do believe if you were to blow up in two two months, yeah. remember you was here. Don't forget about people. Don't worry. I, I, listen, I don't forget about people. My God. I don't forget about people. Look, if you missed any part of this interview, you can catch it with the SXM map, iPhone, Android, home connected device. It looks like this right here. Just search his name, G Sep, Flossy, Great Rizzy, Shade 45. Listen to it on your time at any time. It's a grind setters, baby. Best believe. We out here, whoa. Salute. Flossy.